Hi there! Throughout this video, we will implement a real-time project. After your company got 365 subscription, they will assign for you some tasks like this. Go and create for us a site to communicate and collaborate between team members, as well add for us a document library, and we need some widgets, like weather widget, clock, and some surveys. Throughout this video, we will cover all of this and much more. All you need to do, just like from this left navigation pane, you can find SharePoint button over there. Just click on this one, which is gonna open SharePoint Admin Center in a new tab. From left navigation pane, you have a full control on your SharePoint tenant. It's gonna start from home as well site section. Inside site section, you're gonna find active site. We need to click on this one. And from here, we can create a new site. I'm gonna click on create. And for this purpose, I'm gonna go with communication site, which is gonna have a ready-made template like this for web-based and like this for mobile-based. You need to provide here a name, collaboration site. And the URL for this site gonna be your tenant ID .sharepoint.com backslash site backslash the name that you just specify after that you need to set yourself as a site owner after that you got a variety of languages in our case we gonna go with english after that hit finish after couple of minute it gonna be created for us let me find it it gonna be a collaboration site and here is it i would like to click on this one and from here i can open this site first of all as you can see from microsoft it's gonna help you to browse some templates for your company. So you're gonna click on browse template, which is gonna open for you this pop-up. You can choose one of those template from Microsoft. I think I like this template. After checking out this one, I'm gonna choose use template. Gonna take some time till apply this one to our website. And now we got this amazing design from Microsoft. Let's have a look about it by scroll down. As you can see, it have a lot of details here. Here is another section for adding and use. And if we keep scroll down, we got a section for adding an events to our team member. As well, we got some album, so we can add some album from different events inside our team. So, very beginning of any website design, you need to update the top navigation bar. Top navigation bar gonna be consist of the site logo site name and the navigation bar itself so let's start by the logo of your website i'm gonna recommend for you andro open source website from here you can click browse now then specify the color of your branding actually we are using purple here is it all the images here gonna have the new brand color and after that, you're gonna pick one of them. I'm gonna go with working and download SVG for your project. After that, let's come back again to our website. And from this ribbon, you can click on site information. And from this change button, you can change the site logo like this. And let me pick it and click save. And as you can see, right now we got our image. But for your hand, make sure you're gonna download this image in SVG, okay, to give you this kind of reflection. After that, you can update this site name from here as well. Site information. I'm gonna name it Intranet Portal and update your site description. Then, definitely, the next step we need to update this navigation bar. Let's have an idea about it right now, but later on we're gonna update it. So, first of all, from edit, we can see here all the navigation bar items starting from remote learning till get involved. But here is that you got only two options the first option label. Label means this one is just like read only, it is not a clickable. You cannot click on this one. But if we have a real page, we're gonna change it to be a link. After that, we need to provide here a link. So once your end user click on this one, it should navigate him to this page. So definitely we need first to prepare our pages before we're gonna update our navigation bar. 
So to update this navbar, I suggest to add a couple of pages so we can update this one. So for example, I'm gonna add knowledge base page and courses page. So from here, we got a new button. We can add a new page, which is gonna give us three templates. The first template, plank, which is gonna give you very scratch page. You need to design the layout of this page and start add your components over there. Or a ready-made page that have attractive design with some components. Or the last one, very basic page gonna be used for some news or some articles. So let's go with visual and I'm gonna click create. After that, I'm gonna give you this template. You can put here any name and you can even change this layout from this pencil gonna give you actually four template as you can see let's go with color block or even for alignment we can do some alignment for this one and some other option but we can even change the background from this image change image and i'm gonna go with stock images and search for knowledge and let's go with this image insert after that publish this page here is that the page URL we're gonna copy and close this one. And let's come back again to our home page. So click new, add one more page. And this one even gonna be with visual, create pages. And let's give it a name courses. And it changes the background image from stock images. And from here, I'm gonna pick this image and insert. And later on, we're gonna update this image. But for now, let's publish this one as well. And I'm gonna keep the URL of this one here. And for the courses, let's take this URL as a copy and paste it here. And let me close this one and come back again to the internal portal. And from here, we're gonna click on edit and let's remove all the others. And I'm gonna edit the courses to change it from label to be link and let's put the link here and click ok and for the second one edit I'm gonna be link pick this one as a copy and paste it here and for display name we're gonna name it knowledge base like this and paste it here and click ok after that click save it's gonna be reflected here directly internal portal for now we got only two pages courses and knowledge base let me validate this one by click on this one. I'm gonna navigate me directly to knowledge base or even courses as you can see. Or let's come back again to internal portal. Let's discuss about the page design. Right now we finished the first section which is about navigation part. If you're gonna click here on edit, it's gonna divide your page into different sections. And in the beginning of each section, on the left, you can find here a plus button. And keep scroll down till the end of this page. You can see a plus button in the beginning of each section. If you click on this plus button, you're gonna find a few options. The first one to edit this web part. And second one is to about move this web part up or down, or even duplicate this one or delete this complete section so that's only for your reference actually i will keep this design or this section because it gives me attractive and comfortable design for my end users after that i'm gonna scroll down and before the beginning of second section we can find here a plus button in the center of this page if you click on this one it's gonna pop up for you different web part ready to be added. So I'm gonna start by adding weather widget. And from here, we need to specify the city. For example, London. And second one, I'm gonna add Dubai. And the last one, Toronto. And as you can notice, we need to provide here a title for this widget. So we're gonna put weather. And actually, this kind of temperature gonna use Fahrenheit but for my mindset we are using Slesius so it's up to you you're gonna keep it Fahrenheit or you can from this pencil here you're gonna got two options Fahrenheit or Slesius so I'm gonna pick Slesius for my culture and right now it turned it to be shown with Slesius 
after that you need to republish your page republish like this the next task we need to add a clock to this site so gonna click on edit after that after this weather report let's move here till we find this add a new web part and from here let's search for clock and here is that world clock which is gonna take one parameter the city so we're gonna put the same cities london like this and i'm gonna keep the title of this web part as it is let's move to the next web part here is it just a simple web part have an icon and a link for each icon so in case you would like to update this section you need to click on this item and you have here a pencil this pencil gonna lead you to the modification of this web part gonna start of the url of this icon the name of this icon and the icon itself you can change it from here and let's have a look there are a variety of icons over there it's ready made for you from microsoft you can choose anyone and select this one to change the title i'm gonna give it a name maintenance tools for example mcafee and some antivirus you can even delete some icons from this list by clicking on this part actually i need only three icons out of this let me scroll down the next section here consists of three components the image and a paragraph on the right and a button over there your task here is to update this section actually image gonna be changed in the same way we did before and related for the text you can put or leave this text and the next section after that is gonna discuss about news web part that's basically an important web part inside in any internet portal in real world production so let me republish this home page and after that i'm gonna discuss about this web part adding a news just like adding a page so from here we can add a new news after that let me choose basic text and create post and let's give it a name digital transformation and let's change this image after that let me scroll down and i'm gonna remove this section and instead of this i would like to add a video from youtube talking about digital transformation so we can open youtube i'm gonna click on share and from this share i'm gonna click on embed after that let's take this iframe as a copy and let's get back and paste it here as well i would like to remove this complete section from here right now you have a task from your manager that we have a plan to transform all our manual documents into sharepoint online by beginning of 1st of october so here you need to put a countdown for that so from this plus button you got an option for countdown timer and from this pencil we can update the deadline for this so let me scroll down till we reach 1st of october here is it after that it's gonna be 8 in the morning as well here we got some options to display timer as days hours minutes seconds yeah i think this is one very cool and let's have a look right now it looks very good so let me come back again to my home page and i'm gonna scroll down and here is that i can find this news digital transformation if i would like to open this one i can find right now we got a countdown 33 days till we reach full digital transformation and do all the migration tasks let's come back again to our home page so let's create a new event after that i'm gonna put the title for this event and when it's gonna happen so at 5th of october for example we're gonna specify from 11 30 till 2 30 pm not all day here is that you got an option to specify this one all day in case and specify the address here for example we're gonna put dubai and here is that you can find the map gonna be generated from microsoft bing and you can update here the meeting online link in case this meeting gonna be broadcast over internet and display name and the category for this one gonna be meeting working hours business holiday get together gifts or whatever so in that case it's gonna be meeting 
and we can put here some description for this one I'm gonna put Lorem something like this Darwish here is it and you can put all your colleagues to invite them to this meeting from here after that hit save button and right now you created an event inside your SharePoint intranet portal and let me scroll down so I can find it the next event is gonna be at 5th of October here is the title of this one and here is the location and timing and if you have any other events something like you know birthday with your you know your manager or your colleagues for example at 8th of uh, September and in that case you need to choose category for example it's gonna be birthday and here is it happy birthday after that hit save and let's come back again to our home page and right now we got two events very soon the first one gonna be 8th of September so as you can see it's gonna be sorted ascending ascending means the first come first serve so 8th of September then 5th of October and etc for all the upcoming events inside your organization so what's next here just an album i'm gonna give you this task to update this album of the photos right now we have a very important feature inside sharepoint from page details here we have something called it version history it's a powerful tool from here you can know who modified this page when and what kind of modifications he has been done over this and even you can discard those changes that has been done by him so let's have a look for example this page right now got four versions the first version if i click on the first version it's gonna show me the plain design that we started with that inside version 4 we can find here a wizard and a clock and modified links that we actually did it not only like that here he gave us a summary but if you come again to version 3 we can find here wither and this quick links but unmodified because we didn't modify it yet and we didn't add the world clock yet and as you can see this kind of version has been created by Darwish 14 hours ago if you would like to discard version 4 that actually have this world clock and have this modified quick links it's a very easy you can come again to version 3 and from this ribbon you can restore this version so we can conclude here that version history is a powerful feature inside sharepoint online to track your changes inside your pages that's everything for part one of this implementing a real world project in Terranet portal over SharePoint Online with Darwish. See you in part two.